Laura's right. This is these these this is an incredibly dangerous crossing. The last time I looked at the statistics, most of those making this crossing were economically active young men. These are not you know the poor huddled and uh, and destitute so much. These are people who are you know making a rational decision to try and get into Britain uh, when they've already passed through numerous other safe. Uh, countries on their way from their homelands. Sure, well, that actually applies to the um, debate within the UK. Um, it's not just about whether it benefits the individual children, which obviously um, Chris Whitty and Co have decided it does. Um, it's about reducing the pool of uninfected people within, or uh, people without antibodies, within which the virus can can circulate. This is one of the reasons why um, the you know teenagers and children have been offered the vaccine, not children, but teenagers have mm -hmm. been offered the vaccine in pretty much every other large country. But of course, that logic applies globally as well. Um, you know, ultimately, we're only safe from this virus when it can't. You know, when it, when everyone when everyone's vaccinated, when the yeah. pool you know the pool that can swim in the pool of, it, to exactly. develop new variants is is smaller. Um, that said, the patent stuff is a bit of a red herring, given that. As AstraZeneca are producing the, their version of this yes, you know, at cost mm. yeah, but and, not and offering it to the uh, offering it to the to the um, world. Do, do, well, there was an XR protest um, on the street where I work, um, which was disruptive. You know, I was trying to work. They were they were drumming outside. Even worse, there were speeches by people like um, you know um, all of the all of the great and good uh, explaining why. Um, you know, the, 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 it was like sort of artists against artists against extinction or something like that. But um, you know, and it was you know, it was annoying, it was disruptive, but it was legal, and um, it was uh, you know, and I didn't have any objection to it. I think it's you know, it's that it's that category of as as Paul was referring to, you know, people gluing them trying to glue themselves to tube trains, ambulances not getting through to hospitals. I mean, it's, it's that kind of thing where it's it's you know, not only causing inconvenience but danger. Right. Um, where, where, which is more of an issue. But I, I just want to go back to something Paul said, which I think is, is actually really interesting on the environment as well, about how counterproductive the, this yeah. kind of approach yeah. can, can be. Because So um, Frank Luntz, uh, the US pollster, did some really interesting work for us at the Centre for Policy Studies. And one of the things he found was that in the UK, climate is genuinely a nonpartisan issue. It's in a way that he hadn't found in any other country that he'd done work in. You know, everyone, you know, across the political spectrum is broadly signed up to the need to, to do something about this. And the danger is that things like XR effectively politicize that. They turn it into a partisan cause. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was walking past a protest outside Parliament last week, which had, you know, market economics equals planetary destruction. Go on, Robert. There's something that's fascinating. You, you said she represents millions of members, but but she doesn't. The very weird thing about Unite, um, especially in recent years when it was essentially fused with the Corbyn project, is that it is, you know, Sharon Graham is someone for whom Keir Starmer is basically too right wing. If you look at how Unite's members actually voted at the last election, 39% of them voted Tory, 42% of them voted Labour. And Sharon Graham, who's now taken on this organisation with, with its enormous wealth and resources, is with someone who is backed by the Socialist Workers Party. Oh, <laughs> you know, the Unite leadership on. very clearly does not represent... We've only, we've only got a minute. I've just got to get...